Hi. I like your phone game. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Have a great day. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be preparing and packing for my trip to Mexico. I'm so excited to be going to Mexico. I'm excited to relax and drink pina coladas by the pool. It's gonna be a great time and I'm gonna take you guys with me to prepare. There's a few things I need to do. I have some appointments lined up, some shopping I need to do, and of course packing. I'm going to timestamp this video so that you can go to where you wanna see because I know a lot of you guys just love packing stuff. So hopefully the timestamps help. I will be posting a lot about this on my Instagram. So definitely follow there to see things happening in live time and like everything that's going on with my Mexico trip. I have a busy day of shopping ahead of me. So I got some coffee, of course, and I got a sandwich for breakfast. First place we need to stop is Walmart because I need to pick up some supplies. I need to get some travel like containers because we're not doing any checked luggage. So anything we're packing needs to be under four ounces. I'm gonna go to the mall, which if you know me at all, you know how much I love online shopping and how much I despise the mall. But I'm going to the mall because it's officially May. Today is May 1st. My birthday's in May, so I get a free gift from Sephora. And while I'm there, I will probably stop at Garage and I might as well also stop at the Nike store. I really don't need to buy a pair of shoes, but who knows? But anyways, that is the plan for today. So let's get going. Okay, so here's my haul in the back. I'm gonna do like a full like in-depth haul. I went to H&M, the Nike store, and Sephora. I gotta say, I did some damage, which I'm happy about because I got some good stuff. But the one thing that I came to the mall to get, which is the Sephora birthday gift Dior perfume combo, they were sold out. So the one thing that I came here for, didn't end up getting. I'm gonna go back to another Sephora or possibly the same Sephora later in the month. I think I have all of May to get my gift, so. I was only here for like an hour, but uh, that's enough mall for me for the next little bit. Time for a mall haul. Also, don't question the hat. If I take it off, I'm gonna have hat hair. It's just a mess. You get it. All right, first stop was to the Nike store. I actually really like this Nike store that is in my mall. I'm so used to shopping in the States at Nike outlets that when I shop in Canada, it's just not the same. But I went there with one purpose, which was to buy a new pair of Air Force Ones. If you've ever seen me wear my air force ones they are so beat up they're so old so beat up absolute beater shoes literally the most basic pair of shoes but this in comparison to my last pair these are like pristine condition and i think i'm gonna wear these to the airport because they're super comfortable so after like five years of wearing beat up air forces finally upgraded the next stop i made was sephora i didn't even get the one thing that i went to the mall to get which was my birthday gift from sephora because they were sold out on the dior perfume set but as i mentioned before i'm gonna go back but i did get this sol de janeiro little kit i really really like sol de janeiro right now i wanted to get a mini size of the brazilian crush pistachio and salted caramel it's number 62 i get so many compliments with this it smells phenomenal and this would be perfect for traveling but this kit also comes with the brazilian bum bum cream which is this will not last me long i can already tell it's a tiny container and i just slather myself in lotion when i'm out of the shower oh but it smells so good something that i didn't know existed is the brazilian for play moisturizing shower cream gel i'm sure these three things together will be like amazing and the last stop i made was very spontaneous actually i haven't shopped at h&m since i was very young but i was pleasantly surprised by the prices and the styles that they had i got this little long sleeve shirt the pattern is really pretty the lace detailing the little bow it's so cute i was thinking of wearing this like as a pajama top then i got the exact same top but just in a different style this one is like a little cami tank top I got this pink top. I just love this like baby pink color. It's so pretty. I also got this dress. 
it's kind of like that tennis dress style i don't know how to describe it but it's like not necessarily bodycon but kind of like tight at the top and then just like flares out just like a little bit then i got this gray zip up hoodie i've been needing more sweats and i also got these gray sweats but they don't match like okay on camera they kind of look like they match but they they're different grays but they did have some really cute sets that would be like perfect for lounging but anyways that is what i got from h&m some of those clothes i bought specifically for my trip but they're also just cute for like all year round and just in general so time for my favorite part it's time to start packing for a personal item i decided to bring my mark jacobs tote bag this is the medium size and i've traveled with it before as a personal item just as a big purse so this will be great to keep all of my small things in and then for everything else i have this suitcase that i bought off of amazon it's very lightweight so i think it'll be perfect for this trip i think i mentioned this before but we're not checking bags so i have to fit all of my stuff into this carry-on size which won't be a big problem but everything i have also needs to be in travel containers so Let's start packing. I just went through my closet, picked out a bunch of stuff that I think I want to bring, and I'm going to go through it with you guys, and we're going to start putting it in my suitcase. Starting with an essential for summer, some denim shorts. I have these two pairs that are absolute staples in my closet. I have a more festival short look, like cropped and raw hem. And then I have this more like mom style longer, also raw hem, but like a little bit longer. I'm also gonna bring a pair of pants for nighttime, just for dinner. These are like this shimmery champagne colored dress pants. They're very thin, so it won't be too warm, but they're pretty formal. So if we go to a fancier restaurant on the resort, these will be perfect. Arguably the most important part of a beach vacation are the dresses. I have some really cute ones here like this little white baby doll dress. I'm looking forward to wearing this. I have this hot pink bodycon dress which could also be pretty cute depending on how I style it. This black dress is really cute having a little black dress and then the dress that I just bought I'll also be packing that too. I also have this gorgeous midi skirt. It's been so rainy and cold these past few days that I haven't been able to wear any of my summer clothes yet but I'm so excited to wear this stuff. I have these little satin pajama sets they just come with these little shorts and a little top and I'm gonna bring these to sleep in because they're light and breathable. I feel like I'm constantly forgetting to bring pajamas when I pack which is like really bad because then you end up sleeping in like daytime clothes so I'm remembering this time to pack pajamas. Now for some tops. Now that I'm looking at it I might have gone a little bit overboard. We have this super basic white top. I have this red tank top. This little pink top with straps that go around your neck. Another one of the tops that I just bought basic black tube top, this like one shoulder green top, pink t-shirt, gray tube top, this super super pretty top that I absolutely love and I don't get to wear it as much as I would like. Then I have this white linen button up, perfect as a cover up. I also have this bucket hat. And then I have a denim jacket that I think I'm going to bring because it does get kind of breezy at night and it's nice to just have like a little layer just in case it gets a little chilly, especially in air conditioned spaces. I feel like it's like freezing in air conditioning spaces. And then I have a bunch of bathing suits that I'm going to pack and undergarments and socks, of course. And I have this little knit bag that I'll use as a beach bag. <music> I think this is great because this side of the suitcase has a little space here where I can put some products in there and then I can just buckle it up and I'll be good. It is Tuesday, May 2nd at 1.46. I have a nail appointment in 14 minutes, which I need to I need to go. But I'm getting my toes done today and then I'm getting my nails done on Friday. These are my nails look like right now. They're just like these French tips with little gems on it. Some of the gems are falling off. I haven't decided exactly what design I want to get for my fingernails for my toes. I think I just want to get white. But I'm getting my toes done today because I'm going to an event on Thursday and I want to wear heels and my toes are not looking not looking cute. Four more days and then I'll be in Mexico. Look how clean these shoes are. It's crazy. I 
I leave in two days. Not even two days, like tomorrow is my last full day here. And I feel like physically I'm prepared, but mentally I am not. I have a nail appointment in 20 minutes. Still haven't decided what I want to get yet. I kind of want to get something colorful, but at the same time, I really just want to get something neutral. Like I love these nails, something kind of simple, but like still colorful. But then at the same time, I also just like super like basic neutrals. But yeah, so I got to go to my nail appointment. And then I'm also going to an event later today. So I need to hurry back home and get ready for that because my hair is just a mess right now. It's just in a claw clip, but like I really need to do my hair, do my makeup, get dressed. We don't have time for that right now. We gotta go to my nail appointment. So now that the clothes are packed, it's time to start packing my toiletries and personal items. I don't mind how messy my desk is in the back. I was just sorting through what I wanted to bring, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm bringing. First up for some of my products that aren't makeup related, I have this bag that I got from Amazon. It has a handle. And it's very interesting because it opens diagonally. Then when you open it and lay it flat, you have these two compartments in it. I got this off Amazon. I'm going to link it down in the description box. And I'm going to use this to pack like my hair products and stuff like that. For hair products, I'm mostly going to be doing slick backs and then probably just wearing my hair down a lot. I'm bringing this wax stick, some eco style, and then my Denman brush and a bore brush. On the other side, I have some skincare stuff. I have my moisturizer and then the set of Sol de Janeiro products that I got. Then of course, some sunscreen. And I'm also bringing some little clips for when I do my makeup. And everything fits really nicely in here. It's perfect. I've been doing a lot of sleepovers recently. So this is kind of like my makeup essentials because it is a tropical vacation, of course. I don't really want to wear as much makeup. So instead of foundation, I'm bringing this BB cream. This brush from Merit is like a multi-purpose makeup brush. It's great for concealer, foundation, blush, highlight, everything. Some concealer, stick, blush, and highlight because it's just easier to apply, easier to transport. Some mascara, brow gel, and then a brow stick, which doubles as an eyeliner. A lash curler which is like an essential of mine. And then we have some random stuff. We've got some toothpaste, makeup remover, setting spray, and then this little edge brush which is so good. If you don't have this, you need one. And then a lip balm. That is the makeup that I plan on bringing. Of course, I have some stuff that I haven't packed yet because I'm still using it and I want to pack it later like contact lens solution and my contacts, a toothbrush, and just small things like that. And I also want to bring some sunglasses. I have two pairs of sunglasses here varying in price. This is literally empty. Where did it go? <laughs> okay, I have two pairs of sunglasses here. First one, literally from Dollarama. They're like dad sunglasses, but they're just like very, I don't know, I feel like they're pretty stylish. I think these were like $1.25 or something. These sunglasses are from Coach. Definitely more on the high end side, but I just love them. I feel like very diva. And then I also have this little pouch from Ana Luisa and there's some jewelry in it. I don't want to go too crazy with jewelry because I wear the same necklace every day anyways. This necklace here, which is just a little K, but I have some little hoops and then I have this little pendant necklace. And then last but not least, I have this gold chain. So this will probably go in my Marc Jacobs tote and this will go into my suitcase. It's currently 11.30 p.m. on May 5th. I have to wake up at 5.30, so I'm gonna get a solid six hours of sleep. So I'm gonna get to bed soon because we leave very, very early. But that's pretty much the end of this preparation video. I realized I never showed my nails, but I ended up getting like a hot pink French tip it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but I'm sure there's a photo on my Instagram of it. So if you want to see it that badly, you can check out my Instagram. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this preparation video. If you want to see all of the Mexico content, make sure to check out my Instagram. It's linked down below and on the screen. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>